December 3, 2003, North Carolina. A strange white jet with engines positioned above the wings, something no aviation expert believed was possible, cut through American skies for the first time. Inside the control tower, Michimasa Fujino held his breath. It was 17 years of research, over $1 billion invested, crises that nearly killed the project, and decades of skepticism from the global aviation industry summarized in 84 minutes of flight. At that moment, Honda wasn't just testing an aircraft, it was proving that a motorcycle company could teach aviation giants how to build the world's most efficient executive jet. If you're also passionate about the world of aviation, consider subscribing to the channel and supporting our team. In the mid-1980s, while automotive manufacturers struggled to consolidate their position in the terrestrial market, Honda adopted a completely different strategy, expanding into aviation. This decision, considered risky by many analysts at the time, was based on founder Soichiro Honda's philosophy that progress is born from constant experimentation and overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles. The project was quietly born in Honda's R&D centers, where Michimasa Fujino, an aeronautical engineer graduated from Tokyo University, led a team with the mission of reinventing light executive jets. During the 1980s, efforts focused on developing innovative composite technologies and unconventional design concepts. Fujino's small team operated with limited resources but enjoyed complete autonomy to explore solutions that challenged established paradigms. The main objective was to develop next-generation composite materials and a revolutionary idea that would question decades of aeronautical traditions. Difficulties arose quickly. Without a background in the aeronautical sector, Honda faced distrust from both the market and its own internal investors. The biggest test came in 1991 when the Japanese economic recession almost permanently ended the project. Executives questioned the exorbitant development costs, over $1 billion, a considerable investment even for a company of Honda's size. For several months, the project's fate remained undefined, with tense executive meetings where cancellation seemed inevitable. Fujino needed to defend not only the technical aspects, but also demonstrate the commercial viability of a market that Honda didn't completely dominate. Through persistence, Fujino and his team managed to convince management that the technologies developed could benefit other Honda divisions. They maintained focus on revolutionary composite materials and innovative aerodynamic concepts, especially the controversial idea of positioning engines above the wings, contrary to established conventions in executive aviation. In 1993, after seven years of discrete development, the first experimental prototype, Honda MH-E02, took flight in Japanese skies. This wasn't an aircraft destined for commercial production, but rather an aerial laboratory designed to validate revolutionary concepts. With a fuselage entirely built from carbon fiber composite materials and a unique aerodynamic configuration, the MHE-02 proved theories that seemed impractical on paper. The prototype was essential to demonstrate that Fujino's concepts worked in reality. Between 1993 and 1997, it accumulated hundreds of flight hours, testing everything from fly-by-wire control systems to the aerodynamic effects of engines positioned above the wings. The results were extraordinary. The proposed configuration not only worked, but offered significant advantages in efficiency, noise reduction, and overall performance. The true transformation occurred in 1997, when Fujino sketched the Honda Jet concept on a napkin during a commercial flight. The drawing perfectly captured his vision, an elegant, efficient, and technologically advanced executive jet that could compete directly with established giants like Cessna and Embraer. Recognizing the crucial importance of the American market, Honda established a research and development center in Greensboro, North Carolina in 1999. This strategic decision brought the team closer to major American aeronautical suppliers and facilitated the certification process with the FAA. On December 3, 2003, the first Honda Jet prototype took off from Piedmont Triad Airport in North Carolina. 
Fujino, then president of Honda Aircraft Company, watched emotionally as two decades of research materialized into reality. The inaugural flight lasted 84 minutes and confirmed that all computer simulations were correct. The Honda Jet featured unique characteristics, composite material fuselage, GE Honda HF120 engines positioned above the wings, a cruciform tail, and integrated Garmin 3000 avionics system. The public presentation happened in 2005 during Air Venture Oshkosh, the world's largest aviation show, causing a sensation in the industry. Although market reception was extraordinary, the path to certification would still be extensive. Between 2005 and 2015, Honda invested massively in expanding its American facilities, building a 2 million square foot factory in Greensboro, and expanding the team from 40 to over 1,800 employees. The FAA certification process was rigorous, involving more than 25,000 flight test hours and 40,000 ground test hours. Every component was tested beyond regulatory limits, establishing new standards of safety and reliability in light executive aviation. In 2018, Honda launched the Honda Jet Elite, incorporating substantial improvements, extended range to 1,547 nautical miles or 2,865 kilometers, a 17% increase, new Garmin G3000 avionics system with enhanced connectivity features, redesigned interior with greater baggage space and more advanced entertainment systems. The APMG package allows updating previous models with these improvements, ensuring that owners of older versions can enjoy the latest innovations. The Honda Jet HA420 stands out for its optimized dimensions, 41.7 feet in length, 39.9 feet in wingspan, and 13.2 feet in height. With an empty weight of approximately 7,275 pounds and maximum takeoff weight of 10,582 pounds, it positions itself competitively against direct rivals. The construction extensively uses composite materials, approximately 60% of the structure, including carbon fiber in the fuselage and critical components. This intensive use of composites not only reduces total weight, but provides greater resistance to fatigue and corrosion, resulting in significantly lower maintenance costs than conventional competitors. The aerodynamic design incorporates natural laminar flow on main surfaces, significantly reducing drag. The cruciform tail and low metallic wing with integrated winglets optimize cruise efficiency, while the tricycle landing gear with electronic steering provides superior ground maneuverability. The most distinctive characteristic of the Honda Jet is its GE Honda HF120 engines, developed by the joint venture GE Honda Aero Engines. Each engine produces 2,037 pounds of thrust and incorporates technologies derived from GE's military engines, including high-efficiency centrifugal compressors and combustion chambers with low NOx emissions. The mounting of engines above the wings, configuration known as over-the-wing engine mount, represents an ingenious solution that contradicts decades of conventions. This configuration offers multiple technical advantages. Significant reduction in cabin noise compared to conventional configurations, elimination of debris ingestion risk during operations on unpaved runways, plus liberation of substantially more space in the rear fuselage for baggage. The Honda Jet's performance numbers are notable. Maximum speed of approximately 420 knots, 486 miles per hour, surpassing both the Citation M2 Gen 2, 404 knots, and the Embraer Phenom 100 EV 406 knots. The IFR range is 1,180 nautical miles with three passengers and one pilot. Fuel consumption is remarkably efficient, 104 gallons per hour under ideal conditions for the HA420, while the Cessna Citation M2 consumes 120 gallons per hour. This superior efficiency of approximately 13% represents significant operational savings throughout the aircraft's lifetime. The cabin comfortably accommodates up to seven occupants in executive configuration. Seats are offered in multiple configurations, fully reclining front seats with 360-degree rotation, double sofa in the rear, or club configuration with retractable central table. Interior materials include premium Italian leather, 
carbon fiber finishes, and certified natural wood. The entertainment system integrates individual high-resolution LCD screens, high-speed satellite Wi-Fi connectivity, and premium sound system with active noise cancellation. The pressurized cabin maintains comfortable equivalent altitude even when flying at high altitudes, significantly reducing passenger fatigue and discomfort. The fully accessible in-flight baggage space offers superior capacity to competitors. Panoramic windows provide exceptional visibility, while the LED lighting system with intensity and color control creates personalized environments for different flight moments. The recently announced Honda Jet 2600 represents the next evolution, promising a range of 2,875 miles sufficient for direct transcontinental flights. With a cruise speed of 450 knots, capacity for 11 passengers, and operational ceiling of 47,000 feet, it positions itself in the mid-size jet segment, competing directly with the Embraer Praetor 500 and Citation Latitude. The model incorporates more powerful engines, next-generation avionics systems, and completely redesigned interior, maintaining the philosophy of efficiency and innovation that made the Honda Jet a success. The Honda Jet has a competitive base price in the light executive jet segment. Direct operating cost is approximately 12% lower than competitors due to greater fuel efficiency and lower maintenance costs. The cost-benefit ratio stands out through the combination of superior performance, exceptional comfort, and reduced operating costs. Maintenance intervals are extended compared to competitors, with less frequent scheduled inspections. Residual value maintains itself superior to the segment average. The Honda Jet became the most delivered aircraft in its category for the fourth consecutive year since 2017, proving that Michimasa Fujino's perseverance transformed an apparently impossible dream into the most successful reality in modern executive aviation. The success validates not only the technical vision, but also Honda's long-term strategy to diversify its business into high-technology sectors, establishing new standards of excellence that competitors now strive to match. The Honda Jet story demonstrates how innovation, persistence, and unconventional thinking can revolutionize established industries, creating new paradigms that redefine what's possible in global executive aviation.